speech is my competition, and I believe that a man without ambition is like a rolling stone without direction. I say Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Firstly, I would like to thank to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and all praise to Him, the Lord of the world, the creator of the universe, who has been giving us mercies and blessings. Secondly, salawat and salutation never forget to a lovely man who has brought us from the darkness to the brightness, from the stupidity to the bright modern era which we live in today. He is Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Hello everyone, my name is Amin Fauzi from State Arauda, Sekolah Tinggi Ilmu Tarbiyah Arauda, Medan, North Sumatra. And last but not least, I would like to say thank you very much to Bidik Misi Community BMC Win Wali Songo and to respectable judges for giving me the very special opportunity to deliver my speech by the title is The Future of Education in Indonesia. What does the education mean? Education is an activity of teaching and learning process from generation to the next generation. Education is needed in order to prepare generation of the nation in the future. Education can be said to be good quality if it produces graduates of good qualities in personal, moral, and knowledge. Well, here we go. When we are talking about the future of education in Indonesia, nowadays Indonesia is facing many complicated problems. It is very unfortunate that problems such as students' fights, bullying, narcotics, free sex, and unwed pregnancy are prevalent among youngsters or students of this nation. The future of a country depends on the education system. If a country has a good education system, then the country will be good. And if it is bad, it will be bad too. In the fact, Indonesian students rank among the lowest countries of the world. Therefore, among the South is Asia countries. The quality of education in Indonesia is lower than Singapore, Malaysia, or even Thailand. The education condition in Indonesia is also unfair because only several people can get the education. Most of the poor people could not get the education because they don't have enough money to pay the school fee, the books, and the uniform. A big question for rest all of us. How should the education in Indonesia be much better? I think we have to push for a better educational system with the support from the schools, teachers, government, or civil society at large. They have to work together to prepare the future of education in Indonesia. Without any support from all, it means nothing. Besides that, the government can help by giving more funds to the school or to the students. Well, let me say in general, Actually, Indonesia is a guidance for a bright future education. And what is the guidance? It is Al-Quran. Our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that, "Taraktu fiikum amroin, lam tadillu ma tamasaktum bihima kitabullah wa sunnatul rasul." The meaning is, "O oh mankind, I have left behind over you. If you hold fast to it, you will never go astray." It is the book of Al-Quran and the Sunnah of his Prophet. According to this hadith, Al-Quran must be the primary education of every single Muslim. We should get it because there is no a better education a man can get except the education of Al-Quran. So the education in Indonesia will be much better by the education of Al-Quran. And now, before closing the speech, I would like to quote one of my favorite lines from Nelson Mandela. The roots of education are bitter, but the truth is perfectly sweet. The education is the most powerful weapon that we can use to change the future. That's all for my speech. Thank you so much for staying with me. And I hope to see you again. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.